What's up, you guys? Welcome to our April Outfit of the Week video. Today, I'm teaming up with Nordstrom and bring you guys seven outfit ideas to inspire your month. These are all fun, light, spring-themed looks, and I hope you guys really enjoy. As always, everything mentioned and shown in today's video will be down below in the description box, so please be sure to check that out. Love you guys to death, and let's get started. Kicking off our week with Monday's inspiration. This one is a soft, sweet spring look inspired by some pastel colors. Starting with the top, I have this adorable, ultra soft pointel sweater. It almost has like this opaque sweetheart neckline with all of those little delicate cutouts peeking through to give you a really elegant texture. The fabric feels like a soft little bunny and it actually is very lightweight so it's great for this transitional weather when it's getting a little bit warm but you can still use a little bit of coverage during the day. Then for my jeans, I tucked them into some high-waisted, light, almost bleachy wash jeans just to kind of complement the softness of the pink color. I've mentioned it a few times before, but I'm really appreciating not super tight skinny jean silhouettes. High waist gives me some really nice, you know, curves and nipping of the waist than a typical mid or low rise jeans, which I really am appreciating. Then for my accessories, I have a straw tote bag. Love the look of natural materials, lots of texture, and you get those like great summery beach vibes into everyday life. And then lastly, these shoes are like everything. Pineapple under the sea queen candy colored pastel slides are super in right now so yellow is one of my favorite colors and they really just add vibrancy to any outfit and they can also complement other sweet soft spring colors and I thought that these are just so great because they're very minimalist but the chunky heel gives you nice support and just a teensy bit of lift anyway guys this is a really great everyday look it's a little bit elevated with the elegant fabrics in the shirt the cute bag and also um, the adorable sandals for a nice accent color. Moving on to Tuesday's look, let's show off them pasty legs. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry, I'm like unmoisturized and untanned right now, but I really enjoy this combo. An oversized cozy sweater with a cute flirty skirt. I have this Topshop one that is ultra, ultra soft and definitely thicker than the first sweater I showed as a slight cropped length so you can easily tuck the front without too much bulk and then the back hangs really nice and slightly oversized over that delicate skirt. This skirt is actually one of my favorite pieces in my closet and it's just literally the perfect length for a petite person right at the mid thigh. It gives me some flirtatious movement and shape. So for accessories I went with this new bag. This is the Zach Posen mini belay bag and I just fell in love with this shape. It's so modern and different. It kind of looks like Darth Vader <laughs> in a way. For my shoes, I wanted to keep it, again, classy. I have some pointy-toed slingback kitten heels. I went with a white color for spring and summer. I also just think it looks really fresh and season appropriate. And also this heel comes in many different colors and it's under 100 bucks. This is a really great option if you guys need a low heel for the office. Overall, this is one of my favorite combinations because you get the coziness warmth of a sweater. You're still showing some legs, so it's kind of flirty and sexy. Pair it with some classic accessories and you look at instant it girl. Moving on to Wednesday's look, I was inspired by laid back menswear. Starting from the top, I have this Topshop asymmetrical blouse. So like Forget your basic button downs. This guy like literally swerves off to the side of the shirt. And then those contrasting buttons really accentuate the uniqueness of this blouse cut. I thought it was just a really cool, unique twist on a classic. Then for like the menswear infusion, I have a pair of trousers in this gray and green check plaid. They're nicely tapered so they don't overwhelm my frame, but they're nice and loose enough to feel comfortable. Then for accessories, I wanted to kind of pick up off the contrasting buttons on the shirt so I went with a darker bag. I have that same bag from the Tuesday outfit and then for the shoes I wanted to keep it nice and streamlined too so I have a pair of pointy toed sling back flats. I think this look is so like quirky and fun. Another great idea is you can swap out those flats for some heels and add like an elegant cardigan or blazer on top and it'll be a really fashionable outfit idea for the office. Moving on to Thursday's look, I was very inspired by one of my favorite colors, this mustard color. I love anything gold, mustard, camel, brown, like I'm all about that color family. So this shirt really spoke to me. Love the cold shoulder, the square neckline, and those little ruffle like mini sleeves, make it a very elegant and feminine top. I ended up going kind of like a darker route with this look. I went with some high-waisted Topshop crop flare jeans with a raw hem. 
gives the feminine top just a little bit of a rougher edge. And then for accessories, I wanted one more pop of color. So I found this affordable green crossbody mini bags. I am loving green this season. And I thought it would just be a nice like contrasting pop against the mustard. And then for shoes, I have these knotted nude mules. These are actually an updated version of my favorite shoe from last season from Halogen. I wore those to death, like literally to the ground. The suede was so stained and messed up. I really put so much love into those shoes. They're really comfortable. They come in lots of different colors. Um, seriously, these halogen mules are like the perfect height to give you some lift and they're ultra comfortable and they're very wide feet friendly. This is an instant blogger fashionista recipe right here, guys. Pair your favorite little statement top, some high-waisted crop jeans, and some cute little chunky block heeled sandals, and you look fashionable anywhere you go. Moving on to Friday's look, I think this is one of my favorites from this lookbook. This features a wide leg, high-waisted pair of trousers. I'm so happy that this silhouette has just been so popular this past few years because it is so comfortable and very flattering for a lot of different body shapes. This is also from Topshop. It's made out of a more lightweight drapey material. The olive green is one of my favorite colors, one of the core colors in my closet. And I thought I'd make this a little bit more flirty and going out theme so I featured it with a cute little black um, crop top to show just a little sliver of belly on top of the pants. I think that this is such a chic outfit that you can you know go out on date night, hang out with some friends, go to a bar. I think it's a very classy option where you don't really need to show too much skin but you still look really sexy and elegant. I love this look so much. For my accessories I thought I'd be a little bit more playful for it since it's like a going out look. I have this cute little contrasting black and natural colored pom pom bag I'm wearing it as like an oversized clutch it's great that it actually has a handle so you can you know comfortably uh, take it around all night but it also has a strap so you can wear it as a crossbody too then to just elevate the pants and make sure I have enough height underneath so I don't look too squat and like cut off for my petite frame I did some minimalist um, single strap sandals just to give it a leg lengthening look also a little tip to up the fashion, you can also add some pendant necklaces um, dripping down your neckline for a little touch of bling. And moving on to our weekend looks, I was thinking just keep it loose and breezy and cute and fun. Saturday's look, we're breaking out some of our summer shorts. These are some high-waisted, like classic Levi, slightly distressed shorts. I cuff them just to give it a nice clean edge on the bottom. Then for my top, I have a fresh white uh, spring and summer blouse. This is a great option if you guys are looking for something that, you know, whenever you're self-conscious or you want some tummy coverage, a peplum top is really forgiving. You get some nice loose breeziness, 360 around your body. And I like wearing shapes like this whenever it's like hot and humid because the fabric isn't constantly clinging to my body. This one features a actual high neckline in addition to almost a three-quarter sleeve with cute little tie-offs. If you guys don't want to be showing too much skin this is another great option into the hotter weather and then for accessories I have this cute little like orangey cognac tote with some brass detailing um, on the ring in the front and then these shoes you guys are like my favorite favorite wedges this season I cannot wait to wear this all the way up until the last day of summer these are from Treasure and Bond. These are half the price of my Mark Fisher Espadrille wedges that I normally always wear. It's not too high and uncomfortable for your arches. You have a cute little ankle strap. Definitely check them out if you're looking for a tall shoe that will be leg lengthening and match with everything in your spring and summer wardrobe. And finally, Sunday's look is girly, girly, girly. I was very inspired by this skirt. It's got a very Chanel-esque vibe to it with like the boucle and the tweed um, look of it. It's got an asymmetrical kind of like flap in the front with big buttons. And I just thought it was a really cool statement mini skirt. I wanted to keep it a little bit casual since it was like for the weekend. So I paired it with a cropped front tie uh, white t-shirt. Since it's already cropped, it's like a perfect length right at that waistline. And then for a accessories I have a rattan mini bag these have just like exploded on the scene the past year and it's honestly one of my favorites it reminds me of my travels to Southeast Asia it really is like the perfect bohemian chic cherry on top to any of your outfits if you do invest in one I promise you you will wear it a thousand times up until the fall season even into the fall season girl you can wear it anytime you want <laughs> anyway and then for shoes this was another like favorite find of the season these are from Lucky 
They've got the cutest little knotted detail in the front of the sandal. And then of course the eye catching detail is that oversized uh, tie ankle strap. Definitely check this out if you're into more of like a sexy cute feminine sandal for the season. Last thing I wanted to mention you guys, uh, Topshop also restocked one of my favorite blazers. This is like the boucle textured blazer in the light pink color. I whipped that out to match with this outfit because I was like, oh my gosh, this is like the sister to this skirt. It picks up on like the reddish pinks in the skirt with a similar material and it almost looks like a cute like faux suit for the casual spring season. Really like it, just wanna shout that out. All right guys, that does it for our April outfit of the week. I hope you guys got some spring inspirations for your current wardrobe. Again, everything mentioned and shown in today's video is down below in the description bar, along with my sizing and pricing in case you guys are interested. I'm actually back into the shooting lab. I've got so much spring stuff to catch up with you guys in terms of hauls and lookbooks, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much again for everything you do for me. I love you so much. Thank you to Nordstrom for being a continuous partner and support of my channel you guys are the best have an amazing blessed rest of your week and i'll talk to you very soon bye Mwah.